Uh, our education system is broken. It is absolutely broken. <laughs> Hey guys, how's it going? If you're new to the channel, my name is Philip Watley. This is Life Without Boundaries. We talk about making money online and different strategies on how to do that, even how to build your own business online. And if that's something you want to do, go ahead and click the subscribe button and hit the bell notification to let you know when, re when we release new videos. Now today, we're not really going to talk about any tips or tricks to make money online. What I want to talk about is something that's closer to my heart, and that is um, our education system here in America. Uh, we're told that if we want to make money, we're going to have to get a high school degree, we're going to have to go to college for four to six years, us go into debt with thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars in debt, uh, only to learn uh, one skill, basically, and then go out into the workforce to where you're hired by somebody who's making way more money than you because you are working for them and making them all the money and you work from nine to five every day, and if they decide they don't need you anymore, they can just kick you to the curb, and then you're not making any more money any, uh, anymore. That's terrible. That's something that I just kind of recently um, had a light bulb go off in my head. Uh, as some of you may know, I'm a, a teacher. I'm an elementary school teacher, and uh, our education system is broken. It is absolutely broken to the schools, and they're being force-fed uh, different test after test after test after test after test, and they're and, and we're told, you know, they need to be learning from bell to bell, and they have 30 minutes to eat lunch, and then uh, like 10 minutes to play outside, and it's back to the books, and it's and it's cramming these kids full of unnecessary knowledge. Um, I mean, how many of you still use your knowledge about parallelograms to make money today? Like, it, it's, it's pointless. I mean, yes, it, it's good to have a basic understanding of how things work in the world, but by the time you get to high school, all that stuff needs to be done. In high school, you need to be learning about life. You need to learn how to do your taxes, how to write a check, how to pay your bills, how to budget, um, and all those things that nobody knows how to do when they graduate college. Like I graduated college and I'm like, oh, I need to start doing my own taxes. How the heck do I do that? Like our school system is rigged in a way that we, it's a money machine. Like they want to make money. Uh, my brother is actually in a certain college. I'm not gonna make names, but he has been in school for over six years because their advisors will keep telling him he needs these courses at these times and then when he gets ready to graduate they're like oh well you also needed these courses and they keep him there they, they specifically tell him not to take certain classes at certain times so that they can stretch out the time that he's there and the more money that he's spending and that's just super shady to me uh, my college even tended uh, tried to do that with me and I was there for five years so it's just it's just a big money-making machine and if you even look at the stats over the, the past uh, decade or two like college tuition has skyrocketed exponentially and these kids are going in because they're, they're they're being told that college is where you need to go if you want to make money and they just go into debt they go into thousands sometimes hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt if they depending on what college they go to and they're they're, they're broke. They're broke. They get their job, and they think their life's going to be great, and they get this high-paying job, but 50% of it is going to bills and to student loans, and they have very little to live off of. And so by the time they finish paying off their student loans, they're already 40, 50 years old, and they don't have much to, to go for in retirement or anything in their life. So uh, I realized this really early. Or recently, when I <laughs> when at my job, they pretty much told me that it doesn't matter how good that I teach, how well my students do, or how high my observation scores get, I'm not getting a raise. It, it, it's just not happening. Other teachers will, but in my position, since I'm not core subject, even though they force me to teach core, incorporate core into my subject like teach math and teach history, even though that's not your thing, incorporate it with your lessons. 
if I'm helping these kids score on these tests, like I need to be compensated. And when they told me that I'm not, and that it doesn't matter what I teach, really, uh, I got worried, really. And it, it, it's failing these kids. It's not giving me any incentive to work, to do uh, extra for my job. I, I just want to go in and teach now. Just teach my subject and, and be over it. Like, because that's what I signed up for when I wanted to be a teacher. Like, I want to teach what I want to teach, not what other people say is the best. Because America is one of the lowest performing uh, education countries out there. Like, the number one is Norway. And Norway goes, their kids go to school four times a week, last time I checked. And they actually only have school time for a maximum of 20 hours that whole week. So the rest of the time is playing outside, you know, doing things that let kids be kids, developing their brain and socializing with each other, like things that are important in this world, instead of just cramming all this information, you gotta take, pass this test, and you gotta get this score, and our scores are gonna go up, and it, it's, it's a broken system. It's so broken. So now Norway's number one in the world. Their kids don't have homework. They're only learning 20 hours out of the week. They're playing outside all the time, and they're doing hands-on things. And America's just like, oh, well, looks like they're doing a great job. Let's not do that and just keep putting more tests to our kids because they're going to eventually get it. Like, it's stupid. It's broken. It's dumb. And, like, that's why I decided just to, to make a change. Like, I'm still being a teacher right now, but that's not what I want to do anymore. And, and the thing is, is with my college degree, like, if I quit... I really pretty much can't find any other job other than teaching. So I'm pretty much forced or brainwashed to think that college is the only way that I can learn a new skill and I have to fork over all this money to be uh, certified. But that's just not true. You look at the biggest, richest people in the world. Jeff Bezos, Amazon, didn't finish college. Steve Jobs, didn't finish college. Bill Gates, didn't finish college. There's people online all over building their own businesses online, selling things online, uh, having that financial freedom to where they can just, you know, work from home. And they're killing it. They're making hundreds of thousands of dollars a year, way more than I'm making as a teacher. And the reason is, is they just, they didn't buy into the lie. Like some of them quit halfway through college and it was just like, I don't want to do this. It's like, I don't, I don't see any benefit. I'm going to go to this job. I'm going to work nine to five. And if I want to do something else, I have to start this whole college process over again. And that's just not true. That's not true anymore. Um, you can make a change. You can decide to do what you want to do. Uh, and what I'm going to do is, I talked about it in my last video, I'm starting a business and I'm in the process of training right now. I'm not going to college for it. It's like I'm training online. Yes, I'm paying some money, but it's not near, near the amount of money that I would pay if I'd go back to college for it. And what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to get trained in it and I'm going to let my skills speak for themselves. And I'm going to go out and find clients, offer to do some stuff for free. And when they see the results, I'm going to get hired and I'm going to start making money from home. And hopefully if I get enough clients, I'll quit my job and I'll quit this, this dumb cycle of just being trapped in this nine to five uh, bubble, working for somebody who's just doesn't really care about me in my position or what I do. So, uh, just to wrap this up, the point is, if you are thinking about going to college or if you went to college and you just feel like you just wasted four to six, even 10 years of your life, like it's not too late. Late. You can decide now to change, to use your free time while you work, to just find something else that you can just build your knowledge about and develop a skill to where you can outsource yourself to make a, biz a business online, business from home, and to actually get that life of boundary without boundaries that you want. And that's what I'm deciding to do, and that's what I'm just uh, trying to do. I'm in the process of laying in my first client right now, and I I'm glad for those of you that subscribed because you're going to be watching this journey. You're going to be a testament to this person who's working as a teacher and then just start killing it in the next year or two. So that was just something I really wanted to get off my chest today, and I really just wanted to talk to uh, talk about with somebody. And 
and uh, I really want to thank y'all for listening. If you want to check out some things that I talk about, uh, affiliate marketing, or even um, you know different ways to make money online, I've got more videos down uh, in my channel. Uh, I'm gonna link the video right here of the video of how to make different ways to make money online. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Uh, later.